today's video, we're gonna see how many miles of range you can actually get on a Chevy Volt. Because there's a lot of factors that come into play, such as air conditioning, the radio volume, speed, whether you're climbing a hill or not, how hot or cold it is outside, all those kinds of factors. So let's jump in and see how many miles we got. All right, so we currently have 33 miles of predicted range. So let's start her up and get on the road. So for this test, I'm going to conserve as much power as I can. I'm not gonna go super fast. I'm gonna be just driving in the city. And I think I'm just gonna run the fan only, and not the AC. currently and it's predicting I only have 21 miles left so it's a total of 32 I did however just go up a couple big hills which really reduces range however I'm going down some hills now and so we'll see if uh, I can get some of that range back because I'm really hoping for the most range I can get out of this especially since I'm not running the AC and it's hot out and it's supposed to be 102 degrees in my town today so so a couple ways to know that I'm using EV power only and not the engine at all is first of all, you see the big green indicator saying 20 miles left and it's bolded and you know, green, the battery's a green bold battery. That means that it's an EV mode. If it wasn't an EV mode, the gas over here would be blue, big bold blue gas indicator. And also as well here, it'll say battery power or engine power and so we're using battery power. And it shows that we're about half empty. Update, so I'm just over 25 miles and it's predicting about 13, well now 12 miles left of range. I'm hoping I can get this to about 38 miles. That's what the uh, EPA estimated when this 2012 Chevy Volt came out. It was 38 miles, but the car is now 10 years old and has 92,000 miles on it. All right, now I am just over 30 miles of mileage put on the car, and it's still predicting about 10 miles of range left. I've been driving really conservatively, no faster than 35 for extended periods of time. All right, so we're at 35 miles. Uh, over that predicted range of only 33 miles off the charger. Uh, still saying we have a predicted five miles left, if you can see that. Two miles left, we've gone 39.3 miles. Currently going 45 miles an hour. So we're getting a lot more range than I thought we would. That's pretty good for a battery that has 92,500 miles on it, and the vehicle is 10 years old. One mile left, we've gone 40.4 miles. So that's pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy to see that we've gotten that far. Keep in mind, this has been all city driving. This hasn't been any freeway driving. Hybrids love the city, so... That's where we got it at. Says we got one mile still. I'm thinking once we start speeding up here, it's gonna switch over, cause that draws a lot of power from the battery itself. So we'll see. Okay, that battery's empty. It's getting ready to switch over. We're gonna be pushing about 41 miles up. Oh, there it went. We are now using engine power, 41 miles. All right, so there you have it. 
41 miles on this bad boy. 10 years later, with 92,000 miles on it, we got 41 miles of electric range. That's pretty good for the conservative driving I was doing, no AC. The next test, we're gonna actually run the AC and see how many miles we can get. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.